What's up, people? It's your budget one. I'm here today in Kerbal Space Program. Now, what we're going to try to do today, we run, we're going to try to be nice and quiet because people are still sleeping here. I have family over for Christmas. And so, yeah, we need to be a little quiet. <laughs> but I'm going to try. What we need to do here, actually, is we need to uh, we need to land our Kevo Hotel, which I have been working on a lot this weekend, and I finally got into a point that I really enjoy it, and so I want to see this thing on Minmus. Um, so we need to go ahead and adjust this. We are aiming for that red X you see there. And that is pretty good there, actually. I can't believe that's actually worked out so easily for me. I must be getting used to these maneuver nudes, finally. All right, maneuver nude, stop it, stop it, go away. Okay, sure, stay right there, you son of a bitch. Never mind, I hate you again. <laughs> so anyhow, so we're gonna go and do our first maneuver and that's gonna get us in line so we can land here and then we can then do another maneuver uh, once we get around here at maneuver and we can then bring ourselves in a what the heck? no no that's not what I wanted you to do at all what are you doing now go away now you annoyed me thank you we'll worry about that when we get around to it or can I do it you know what no no no, we'll worry about that later. So we'll do our first maneuver first, <laughs> because this thing's going to annoy the hell out of me. And I don't want to deal with being annoyed at the moment. Okay. So this thing controls really well. I thought that once I got up into space, this thing would be like a brick, but it is definitely controlling better than the anticipated brick. Um, which is fantastic. Let's get rid of this. You're out of here. I don't need that anymore. That was just for my aerodynamic cover. So when I was leaving Kerbin, I would use that so that way I would have something to, uh, so it wasn't just this blunt front side and all that drag that we'd be facing. Uh, definitely did not want to deal with that. And we have a minute before we reach our node. I don't really care where that thing goes. It can bugger off now. <laughs> We don't need you anymore. Be gone. So, right now, this craft is very, very strange. Um, but it is literally a flying hotel. And this flying hotel should allow me to have a delightful lander, driller, everything er <laughs> science kit that is expandable even on holy shit well that's probably not good even on holy shit even on holy shit well that's probably not good <laughs> I'm glad it just hit the leg, and that could have been a lot worse. Holy shit. <laughs> Maybe we can drag one of our landing legs. And that'll slow us down enough. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try to drag a landing leg. Here we go. Going for the drag. And does it work? Does it work? I think it worked. I think it worked. We are safe. So I'm glad I have those legs on there. They, one, they add stability, and two, 
they save my craft from impact. And three, I can drag them so I can now have a safe, stable landing. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and turn these off. Let's turn these off. Can I turn these off? Are you not going to let me turn these off? Thank you. Th maybe. Thank you. Shut down engine. All right. Because I've learned my lesson. I have made some mistakes in the past and accidentally hit shift and that caused a lot of trouble because I started lifting off and I was just like oh dear god no I mean who hasn't done that shut down engine one last one and shut down engine all right so this is a cool little thing uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna deploy these as well deploy drill Okay, and let's deploy our other drill. Alright, looking good, looking good. So, with this beast here, we have a few different things that benefit us. Uh, one, this is a hotel, so it has quite a few rooms. I'm trying to figure out why this thing is not letting me grab my antennas. Well, my uh, solar panels because it's being a jerk the frames per second are dropping and I know I'm getting a lot of console errors and I don't know where they're coming from yet so I still have yet to figure that part out I gotta figure that out still but we have some pretty good stuff going on here um, if you're wondering why my frames per second look so terrible let's take a look real quick you want to see because I want to I want to show you so let's take a look at the console and this is where it's coming from yeah we're still getting that and i need to pick through all of my mods to see what's causing that or look at the logs and find out what's causing that and yes i did cheat this one over to minmus because I don't have a lot of time today. I actually do have a separate version of this build, which is why this is Mark II of this of the Cub Kebo Hotel, because Kebo One actually has a lifter that I've been working on, but it's been a bit chaotic getting something like this up to orbit. But I have done it. But I've run like I've been running into various oddities. Uh, things exploding and different cracking effects ongoing so we're still working on getting that successfully into orbit let's go ahead and spin this up you're gonna let me there you go activate scanner okay well what we need to do now is we need to get a Kerbin out let's turn on the lights and let's get out are servo controls because what you're seeing here there are quite a few servo controls <laughs> quite a few so first we need to extend our antenna so let's extend our antenna on out so i'd like to do the extendable antennas now because it just looks more awesome with the different uh with the different antennas they have now so oh god frames per second are so terrible right now and it also gets the antenna out of the way for the Kerbins when they go up to the f top floor. So what we need to do now is we actually need to swing our swing evader, which is my elevator, uh, one of my elevators. We need to swing that down. So let's swing this down. And then we need to open our door. Except for that's the wrong way. We need to open our door. And is our door to our our Kebo Hotel? So Kebo Hotel is open for business. So we need to now swing our swing evader back up. So swing it back up, and it's ready for a Kerbin to exit out. Uh, so let's stop the door actuator and let's get a Kerbin out. So new Josie, Josie Willard, Mac, and who wants to go for? I have Santa Claus on here too. Bourbon, did I? Is this a sausage party? Did I make this a sausage party? I think I totally made this a sausage party. How lame. Alright, let's go for an EVA. Go for an EVA. 
There you go, buddy. Okay, so we're going to focus our camera on Josie. Reason being is because we need to show you some of these uh, interesting things we have on here. Let go. Let go. Let go. Okay, so let's go inside the building here. Now, what you can see here as he's doing the stinky leg. Um, <laughs> Alright. He's all over the place. Thank you. You are you are truly a riot, Josie. Thank you very much. And your excitement is definitely showing on your face. Okay. Cool. He's properly positioned. All right. So what you'll see here is down here we actually have the guts of Keppel Hotel. And this is where everything is stored. This is our power, our ore, our batteries, uh, RTGs, and our elevator. The reason I say elevator is because you really should see this elevator. This is cool. So let's switch back to our main craft. And it brings us all the way up to there for God knows what reason. Uh, so let's go back to our Kerbin. If we can get back to him now because the camera focus changed on me again thank you I hate these camera controls they are such a pain sometimes oh dear god why why do you hate me so much camera camera why so here we have our Kerbin. So say we need to take him up a few flights. Well, we have our elevator now, so we can actually adventure up a few flights and gently nuzzle him up if we need to. <laughs> it's been this, he's going to get a little bump. So we can go up here, we can go up to the next floor. Uh, we're going to take him up to the top floor. That's the living area where you can actually escape out of the science kit the, the science lab boop another boop up here and this is where we are, we are storing our our converters and then up top to the top floor where we want him is where everything else is all of our science things and we can even give him a little bird's eye view of everything by standing on the top of the elevator he can get a little peek over the edge and view all of Minmus well not all of Minmus but a good portion of it but we need to actually bring him back down so let's go ahead and swing him all the way back down <laughs> he catch up to the elevator I could be bad I've seen that happen in a while and it's not good <laughs> I should have made a cage around the elevator, huh? The way this is working. Alright, come on. Ding dong. Okay, ground floor. So, let's get back to our Kerbin. And let him stinky leg all the way back over to here. So, what we need him to do is come into this doorway. Come, come into the doorway. Stop skipping. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come here. <laughs> it looks like he's like a horror movie curve is right there. Oh my god, that's so beautiful. Okay, so here's, if you're wondering how you exit out of this thing, this is how you exit out. So let's make sure we're still aimed back at Josie. Thank you. Stay focused on Josie. So we need to swing him out of here. So this is what the swing evader is for. The swing evader swings him down and out and also creates a little plank for him to walk. So let's go ahead and activate that. And you'll see swings him down, swings him out. And here he goes. And there his there is his little ramp and now he can safely exit onto Minmus. Uh, turn that off. Okay, 
so he also has this cage he's held in by this cage otherwise he will bounce everywhere because they don't swing with anything so we have to release the safety cage once the safety cage is released he is now free to walk out free and adventure on Minmus and this is the mechanisms that I've made for all this to work properly so let's go ahead and jump back to our Kerbin and he can stink your leg all the way out here and there you go so this is Kebo Hotel I really wish I could figure out what is causing all of the trouble that it is um, that's causing all my frames per second drop I need to go look through my logs and figure out what the hell's going on with that but until then I will hopefully not see any of these hearts ever again that smashed into my legs but still did not prevent me from successfully landing we have success we can start drilling we can hopefully access curve net I'm not seeing it maybe I don't have a map made I don't know I need to fix the frames per second first so that way all this can stop uh, looking horrendous <clears throat> and uh, switch back to here turn on oh that's why I couldn't turn on curb net because he can't use curb net there we go hey curb net that's way better and uh, so yeah this is this is Kebo Hotel and it works quite splendid and I am glad it does and unfortunately I there's no other or that I don't have mapped out I don't have anything around Minmus yet which is pretty bad I need to send a satellite over to here <sighs> eventually i'll do that <laughs> but until then i hope to kiss you guys in the next video for now this is your boy Jatwa. this is kevo hotel and i will kiss you guys in the next video we are out peace josie good job stink your leg your way back inside ow it's so stinky <laughs> he's such a doofus <laughs>